Hi, I'm Heather Dine of BodyMuse.com and let's do Ekapada Raja Kapatasana. What a mouthful. Pigeon. Simple, right? Make sure that if we're going to do this posture that you um, have warmed up a little bit. We don't want to come into such a deep hip opener uh, if we haven't sufficiently warmed up the body. But I love starting in down dog. It's a great place to come into Pigeon. You'll extend the leg up high, you'll gain a little bit of momentum. You'll bring it all the way right knee to that right wrist if we're working on the right leg. Drop the side of the leg to the floor. Release your left leg to the floor. Now, how far away the foot is from the body will be dependent on the tightness or the looseness of your hips. If you're real tight, that foot's going to be pretty darn close to you. Ultimately, what we're going towards is pulling it further away. But do not force. Force is not okay in yoga. Everything is about breathing, holding, relaxing, and settling in. We have a nice level pelvis or neutral pelvis, meaning that we're not favoring a side, okay? That's what that means. Often people get into this posture and they sort of lean towards the bent leg side, basically avoiding the stretch. You wanna find a neutral pelvis. Again, if we're doing the right leg, right knee to the right wrist. So, coming back, scoot that other leg far back behind you, come into a nice forward fold. You can use blocks here if you need to for the head. You can also use blocks or blankets for that right glute, right? That'll help sometimes when people are real tight or um, if you're having any kind of knee pain. But remember guys, joint pain is not okay. If you're having pain in any of your joints, knees, ankles, shoulders, um, we want to avoid joint pain. We want to figure out another way around this posture. Um, so assuming that you're pain free, you're in Ekapada Raja Kapatasana, you've got that nice neutral pelvis, we're not favoring one side. Basic version is here, take anywhere from 10 to 25 breaths, relaxing the muscles. If you want to build into this posture, you can start to lift and arch back as if you were going into an up dog. And you can bend that leg, reach back for the free foot, start to draw the heel in. If you can go even further, you loop or hook the foot with the inner elbow. And if you want to go even further, you can lock the hands. Ekapada Rajakapatasana in its most basic sense. Just as a note, because I mentioned it, if you are having knee pain there and elevating that right hip or using props haven't helped, you can still get into those external rotators and the glutes. Just shift onto your spine, cross the right ankle on the left leg. Obviously, if you were doing the left, you would do the other. Raise your legs, thread your hand, meet your other hand at the hamstring, draw in, and right ankle pushes against the left leg. And you can do here. If you're doing this variation, make sure you don't add tension to your head, neck, and shoulders, right? We're not in a bartering system with our body. We wanna get the hip open without having to stress out everybody else in the neighborhood. Ekapada Rajakapatasana.